Yo, what up guys, welcome back to another one. I told you, I told you, we were gonna be trapping some starlings. Oh, and that's what we're doing today. Today is step one of the starling slash pigeons, because I'm sure we will trap some pigeons in these cages as well. Day number one of the starling trapping adventures. Now my plan is we're gonna uh, take all this that I got loaded, Yep, we got two pieces of plywood, which will be on top of those awnings. Remember those metal awnings? On the last Starling Hunt, remember those metal awnings that I couldn't shoot because they're in the way? We're gonna put two pieces of plywood, one on either end of that roof awning. They like sitting up there, and there's no platform there. They like sitting on the rail. So, me and Jordan's ideas, we put them up there, we're gonna fasten them down with some wire, and then we're gonna put some cracked corn out there. Basically just gonna cover them in cracked corn for, I don't know, two, three, four days. However long it takes for them birds to get comfortable sitting on those platforms, eating that cracked corn. Now, I'm hoping that the cracked corn is gonna be the ticket. Then I brought the big old ladder, cause we're gonna need that to get up there and fasten these pieces of plywood down. So. My idea is we're going to get uh, a couple platforms built, get some bait on them, because that's essentially what we're doing. We're baiting starlings and the occasional pigeon that might land on it. Getting them used to being on that platform, and then three or four days down the road, we're going to bring in these homemade cages that we're building, and we're going to put them on the platforms. So hopefully they're, they're used to the platforms by then, and they just want to wander in that little cage and get them a bite, because once they get used to that cracked corn, and then we put the cage out there. The cracked corn is only going to be in the cage. So they're going to have to walk in there to get them a bite. So that's how I'm hoping it works. Let's, let's cross our fingers and hope it goes that way. But we just got stocked up on the olive hats. Look at that bad boy. They are all back in stock. If you guys want to pick one of these bad boys up, I will link it in the description below. Let's waste no more time. It's a little windy. I'm a little scared to be up on that tall ladder dealing with sheets of plywood in this wind. We got some got some weather rolling in here. Well, we're here and this is what I'm talking about, y'all. Look at them. Look at the starlings just picking out all that good old nutrient. Little suckers. Dude, they're brutal. I hate those birds. <laughs> Dude, they never yeah. stop. No, they never. are persistent. Literally, the tractor went through here less than like four minutes ago. Yeah. And they're right there. They, it's like they have the thing patterned out already. They know exactly what's going on. Yeah. It's kind of like school. You just show up when you need to and lunch is served, man. So as you all can imagine and myself as well, when you're a farmer and you're feeding these cattle, you know, how many times a day? Twice? Twice a day, right? Twice. Twice a day. And you got to watch these little suckers do what they do. It is a pain in that farmer's rear. But right up there, uh-huh, that's where we're going to be setting these plywood platforms up there and putting our bait on them. It's probably going to be a little windy. So uh, I'm going to get everything set up, get the ladder set up. Um, I don't want to try to be juggling a camera in this wind with plywood and a ladder. So I'm going to see what we can film here. Get one set up. And what we really want to do is get it set up, get it baited, and then go hunt everything around it and try to push all the starlings to it and let them find it. Because once they find it, it's probably gonna be game over. So check this out real quick. On a couple videos ago, you seen the big pile of chocolate that is used for a corn replacement. See them uh, See them cattle knocking the feet around? What are they doing, Jordan? They are, they are looking for the chocolate. <laughs> they'll go through and they'll pick out all the chocolate they can find and then they'll eat the rest of the stuff. But they want to make sure they get it before the other cows can. So that's the first thing they look for. That find is, the chocolate. That is hilarious. <clears throat> well, there's old Monkey Jr. getting up there. It's really tall. That's like 12 foot, 13 foot maybe. It's enough to hurt. Yeah, it's enough to definitely hurt. Old Monkey Man's up there. Probably need to tilt the camera back a little more, but plan is I'm going to walk the plywood up and hand it to him. God, we're kind of out of the wind too. Oh God, that wind is bad. I'll hold the bottom. Okay, sit on the ladder. You got her? 
Monkey himself is taking the feet up there. Check it out, we got it up there. This is what we're working with here. Got me a strap there and a strap there. What he's doing, he's just spreading feed all over it. Just coating it with that cracked corn. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Jordan's like, yep, I gotta take my Crocs off. <laughs> But we got her done. As you can see, all the starlings are like, oh yeah, they're over there again. We're not gonna go feed. Man, the wind's kind of blowing some off. I hope the wind don't pick up and blow all of our feed off, but gotta try it. Check. <laughs> we have a storm rolling in. Look at this. Dude, look at the dust line that's coming. I got feed falling on me. I hope it all don't fall off. But like I had said before, there's a little water spot where these starlings are gathering for a drink by the pond. Not the poop water pond. Yeah, not, not, the, yeah, not the poop water pond, but the actual pond pond. We're gonna go there now and we're gonna line the bank with some of this cracked corn. Get them used to going there because not only do I wanna trap them next to the water, because it is their primary source for a drink but I want to get it set up so they're used to it. They go there for a couple reasons, but that's where I want to shoot them with pellet guns. So that's where we're gonna go. Holy cow, dude, it's getting crazy out here. Get in. Holy smokes. This is gnarly. <laughs> Look at this weather. Woo. Oh. Oh. <coughs> dude, that's a front right there. <laughs> Like two hours ago, it was beautiful. It was 70 with like a five mile an hour breeze. And now it's literally 30 mile an hour gusts, spitting rain every now and then. And it's cold. Freaking hurricane out here. Well, here we are at the next spot. And remember, I had shown you guys on a shooting video that right here, all along this bank right here, starlings love to fly from over there because that's that right there on the edge is where we have our plywood with our bait on it. They'll fly right across, boom, and get their drink right there. It's a nice bank. So basically that's where I'm gonna throw bait out. I'm gonna throw a bunch of cracked corn out right there. Think it'll work? I think it'll work. Once they find the food with the water, they're gonna think they're in heaven. Oh yeah. They're gonna be like. I mean, I if I was a star, and this seemed, well, it seems like a trap. They're smart, but yeah, they'll eat it. Definitely. They'll come down. They'll, they'll be gone in two days. I bet. So, it's screaming wind like you just seen. Uh, we're going to get out. We're going to get the job done. And then I'll film it once we get back in the truck here. Because the audio will just be blown to bits. Oh, man, it is windy out there. What are you guys doing? You guys going to feed us or something? Come on, give us something nice. But there we are. We got the uh, old cracked corn spread out right on the bank where they like to chill and get a drink. So, I mean, they ought to like it. I don't see any reason why they shouldn't like it. But we're going to let uh, the wind kind of calm down a little bit here. Let this system pass through. And uh, I'm going to put on the old GoPro and we're just going to go blast us some starlings. We probably got to let them settle down because of the wind and the storm. Except for that one. Oh yeah, see they're flying. There's a pair right there. Look, oh, come on, sit down. We got starlings right here checking out the corn already. Uh-oh. Holy smokes. Guys, it is extremely windy. The wind has not calmed down yet whatsoever. We're actually on the other side of the farm, all the way on the other side. So our idea is, is to hunt everywhere we can to try to push all these starlings to our piece of plywood and look at oh dude look they're landing on it but we're gonna try to push all these starlings over so it'll see our feed on the water on our plywood yeah so here we go 
Oh, these suckers are fast. Oh, this wind just makes it. Oh, <laughs> dude, they're so fast. Crazy fast. I thought I demolished him. Nope, did not demolish that one, Bob. Well, check it out, that's where all the poop and pee water goes. It all runs all downhill to this hole right there and goes to the big ponds. That is neat. This is the story of my life. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> See if we can do some damage here, boys. We're over by the poop pond. Sit right there. Big miss, big swing and a big miss. Right, we're just cowboying it around here. We're gonna be walking all through the farm, just shooting. Just uh, shooting. The Starling Patrol. Oh yeah, old <laughs> gunslingers. Now, Jordan did say though, he was like, man, compared to what they're, nor oh, there's, hello. Compared to what they're normally is, the population in general here has really went down in the last yeah. week or two, right? There's not near the birds that there were a week ago even. Don't know it has to do with the weather, but there's just not as many. And I mean, they don't like us for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to take me and you take full uh, credit for that one, but we got to be helping for oh, sure. Yeah. We'll see once the weather gets a little bit nicer, not quite as windy, and if it's still low, it is definitely us. Though. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Which means we have to keep coming out here to figure it out. Oh yeah, look right here. Come on now, smack him. Ow! Well, we tried. He Let was, that be a lesson he, to you. He was definitely out there, dude. Yeah. Well, Jordan just smacked one, landed over on the bank over here, right here. Well, is he coming? he's going. He ain't coming, he's going. Oh, yeah. Nice. He got, got a skipper. We definitely got one down. He's down he in the water. Airball, yeah, that's a, that would be an awful way to die. You know it? To get shot out of the air and land in a bunch of poop water. Make sure that you're dead, dead at that point. <laughs> That'd definitely be a way to go. That's sort of what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Having the old tube on is extra nice. Sorry for the... need it, but it's just convenient to not have yeah. to think about reloading all the time. Sorry for the wind, guys. No, I mean, nothing we can do about it. Right there. Nice shot! Well, Jordan just banged on one. That was a heck of a shot. Look at these cows who are like, thank you. Thank you for keeping our food safe, sir. I'll tell you though, just by watching the amount of starlings here, we have, we put a dent in them. Not necessarily have we killed them all, but we just drove them out by continually hunting them. It's not that we kill them all, it's just that we drive them out by shooting at them. Well, Jordan just got the bright idea to sit right here on the edge of the poop water because these birds are just coming in right here. Oh my, this smells wonderful. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, I, dude, it would be the worst thing on earth if you fell. I gotta say it because it would probably be close to the worst. The worst thing. It's only like 14 foot though. Oh, so you're definitely going <laughs> under. I mean, uh. <laughs> there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that one. I really think the way they're hooking around, I don't think they'll see us until they get like right here and then right. it's going to be too late. Right. Ooh, these oh, here, yeah. Uh, they're going to the bag. See, that's where they get the, yep. the silage out. That's right. That's where a lot of the corn is, too. They're really low, right? Oh, my. Over the top of them. Darn it. To watch the wad go. Right there. Oh, hey, yeah. son. Yeah, that son. Oh. Oof. Well, we already have a lot more action sitting here. That's for sure. And they can hear you. Definitely. Yeah. We're completely out of the wind, which is great. Hey, I'll take getting out of the wind and sitting next to a poop pond. I don't I don't mind. Right there. Get him. Oh, Ow. easiest shot on earth. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. That echo get your brain? A little bit. A lot. Here we go. Oh, oh we, darn it. Well, the shooting is better, but our shots are yeah. not. Bad deal. Single, right here. A single just to doing it. Nope. Did I help? Yeah, that probably pegging you, isn't it? Oh. Oh, we are not. Our shooting is not a, ooh, you little. 
Oh man, <laughs> this is bad deal. I thought it'd be easier over here. Show. Uh, yeah. Apparently, the closer Look, they are, the worse we get. Yeah, because they're really close. Oh. Yeah, they're swinging right here on this left side, hooking in here hard. Darling. Oh. Oh. Yes. Which, which, which one? one? <laughs> which one do you pick? Dog, get him. Nice shot. Whoa. Said it wasn't going to miss my next one. Yeah, you're right. If they see us, which I guarantee they are. Oh, yeah. Guess we need on green pants and a white painter suit on top or a white hoodie. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Oh, nice! He's dead. Boom! Splashy in the poop water, baby. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yo! He got nailed. That was sweet. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to get. Aimed up on him and I couldn't quite get him. Oh, that was a three pack and I missed him. That was a beautiful shot, Bob. Come on. Here we go, two right here. Oh, I don't know how I didn't hit you. I don't know how I didn't just cream him right over. Well, they're wearing Kevlar. I guess so. They, I think they are actually. I'm gonna start taking seeds literally on every hunt I go on. It's the best. Get him. Ah. Well, kind of wrapping it up shooting. We're walking around a little more here. Guess they just had some baby, baby calves. Not even three days old, you said. We'll look at the date for sure, but I think they're young, young. Young, well, maybe only a day or two old. So, I wanted to show you guys that before we get out of here. Plus, I want to see them. They're, they got to be cute. But if you guys are liking the farm videos, the baiting, the trapping yet to come, you got to smash that like button right now. Hi, girl. Oh, he, they are little. Sit them bad boys right there. Oh, just a little guy. Look at him. Hey there, buddy. 16th. The 16th? So, yesterday. Only a day old. Born yesterday. God. If Harper seen him, he, she <laughs> would be like, Daddy, get me one. Can't wait till we have a house where we can. One day, I'll have a house with enough land to tell at least have horses. I really want to get the girls horses. These are the older ones. Some of the older calves. Check this out. <clears throat> this is where the cows actually go in to get milk. They go through that door and that is the milking process. If you guys want to see a video over the milking process here at the dairy farm, I'm sure Jordan would uh, be glad to show us. So, if you guys want to see it, drop a comment down below and let me know. Check it out here. They're landing right by that corn. That's the water. That's where we baited. There they go. That was a group. If the blackbirds find it, the starlings aren't going to be far behind. Yeah. Well, I can say um, I am excited to try this. I'm excited to, to do the pellet gun video here first, but it's definitely going to have to calm down. The wind is going to have to calm down. Um, the birds are just doing all kinds of crazy stuff because it's so windy. I don't think that they're even going to land on our board today because it's too windy. They don't have a good footing up there. They're just getting blasted by the wind. So, more to come on the baiting of the starlings. Next video, we should be putting out the traps and trapping some birds, hopefully. So, if you guys like these videos, again, you gotta let me know down below. If you guys wanna see any creative videos out here, me and Jordan doing our thing out here with the old cattle back yonder. Hit the button. Yeah, hit the button. All that's all you gotta do. And while you're down there, hit the notification bell too. So it reminds you that your boy uploaded. But if you haven't subscribed, you need to do so. We're bringing you three to four to five videos a week. But we will see you on the next one, guys. Have a good one. Peace.